Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Sunny. Today we're going to be making the most amazing baked french fries. So we're going to start by squaring up these potatoes just by trimming each edge so that's six total, top, bottom, and all the sides. So you end up with something like this. These make an amazing snack. Do not throw these away. So we're gonna do these pretty thick. So I'm gonna slice it once in half, and go back the other way, and depending on the size of the potato, I might just do these like this. I want these to be big, and I'll, I'll tell you why a little bit later in the video. You can put those straight into a pot and repeat with the rest of your potatoes. They don't have to be perfect, but you know, you're going for that rectangle shape. By the way, these are russet potatoes in case you didn't know. So I just cut the potatoes without washing them because we're gonna wash them and rinse the starch off at the same time. Two birds, one stone. So I'm just filling this up with cold water. I'm gonna cover them completely. I'm gonna drain that off and repeat a few times. Before you start cutting your potatoes, I would bring some water to a boil because we're gonna be using that for the next step. So these are covered now. Just give them a good mix. Sometimes this can help to release some of that starch. Drain off and repeat. Repeated that pop. So I just repeated that process about three times. And so they're really nice and clean. You can see now we've gotten almost all that starch off. You want to do that because if you leave the starch on, you don't rinse them, they're going to brown and cook really unevenly and be black in some spots. This is going to give us that best golden brown result. I want to give you guys a sense of how much salt this water can take. You know, it's going to take a lot. This is a very big pot of water, but, you know, it's always fun to watch. I think it can take all of that. You got to see how big that pot is though, right? It's huge. And so we're going to put just a teaspoon or a little less than a teaspoon of baking soda in here. This helps to break down the edge of the potato, which makes for a great crunch. I'll show you more on that a little bit later in the video. It's the same thing I did for my roasted potato recipe. I'll put a link up to that now. Okay, so now that our water has come to a boil, we are going to blanch these for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to start with half. I don't want to put too much at once, so we'll do it in two batches. So our potatoes have been cooking for about 12-13 minutes. We're going to begin to remove these and just put them into a colander to drain and steam. So that steam is going to create a lot of heat which in turn completely dries these off, aka getting them ready for roasting. And so we're going to drop the rest of our potatoes straight in. So I've just repeated that process with the rest of my potatoes and I've just let them steam for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. I'm gonna add those to a large bowl. I'm adding just a little bit of neutral oil and some more of that rosemary salt you know I love. I already put a link to this in this video. And now we're just gonna begin to toss these. So the reason we didn't do skinny fries was, obviously if we had done skinny fries, this would have been a complete mess. We need something that was gonna hold together. So what we're trying to do here, I don't know if you can see yet, but we're getting some texture on the outside of these potatoes. This is gonna make for an insane crunch, and that is why you put the baking soda. Right, so now we've got some good texture going on. These are ready to roast. We're gonna be roasting these in an all-clad roasting pan. Someone donated this to me, I'm so lucky. This thing makes the best vegetables and meats. I'll put a link to this below the video. 
I'm not sure how much this costs. I know they're expensive, but you know, it's something that you would buy and have once for a lifetime. And like, you literally don't even have to clean it. I've roasted so many things and it just comes right off. Truly an amazing roasting pan. So I'm putting this into a preheated 400 degree oven on the bottom rack. We're gonna get this nice and hot, add some oil, let it get hot again, and then we'll begin cooking those potatoes. So straight up. So our pan is nice and hot with the oil. We're gonna carefully add our potatoes. You know, that's like, that's capacity. It's even a little over, but I think I can get away with this. And take your time right now to make sure that as many of them are hitting the bottom of that roasting pan as possible. That's good. And back into the oven. So as these are roasting, we're gonna wanna pull them out and toss them a few times, right? We can't just leave them on that one side. So we're trying to expose like this crispy golden brown side now. So just work your way around and try to get them all flipped over nicely. So we're trying to get a new side to hit the bottom of the roasting pan. Sometimes it's good to even go around and just work these in, you know? Pushing them in around. Back into your oven. So sorry to cut that video short, but for those of you that don't know, I own a catering company here around Aspen, Colorado, and sometimes I'm preparing for an event. On that day, I got crunched for time and I had to get out of here. But where we left the video off, I had just done that first flip on those fries. So those roasted in about 45 minutes, but I went in there three or four times and I kept turning them and kept getting a new side to hit the bottom of that pan. It took 45 minutes for me, but you may have a different roasting pan, your oven may be a little different, so you really just need to look at them and just keep working with them and turning them as you go. As far as the texture and the taste goes on those roasted potatoes, it was much like my roasted potato recipe where they have that amazing crunch on the outside and you get in and it's very nice and fluffy in the middle. So by parboiling them in the water first with the baking soda, we're getting that amazing texture on the outside and then when we're roasting them, they're not drying out because they have the extra moisture from the parboil. Well as always if you found some value in this content right here please leave me a like and do not forget to subscribe for more weekly videos just like this one and I will see you next time.